This is a new model, Big Track, which I've modified to run from an Argent V2 board. The Argent V2 is an ARM board similar to the more familiar Beagle board, but it's a bit smaller and has Wi-Fi on board. That means I can telnet into it straight from my laptop and I can control it from a terminal, a bit like this. So the new Big Track is pretty much the same as the old 1980s toy, still pretty sturdy and it has a lot of space inside the chassis which is good if you want to modify it. It's not tracked, as the name might suggest, but it's just driven by the two centre wheels and a skid steer arrangement. There's also a speaker on the front which I can hook up to the eye get with a small amplifier. The iGet V2 is a uh, 3530 platform, similar to the Beagle board as I mentioned. Uh, it's got half a gigabyte of RAM and Cortex A8 running at about 720 megahertz. So that could work as a full desktop computer with Ubuntu on it, and it uses very little power, which is great for your batteries. If we take a closer look, there's the iGet V2 on the back, uh, which does all the clever stuff, and a 3-port hub for peripherals, such as a webcam, which I'm intending to set up later. And if we look at the front, there's the embed microcontroller, and that's acting as general purpose I.O. Inside the big track, there's a lot of room as it's supplied, and that makes it great for modifying. At the bottom are the original motors and gearbox, which I've left as is, but I've taken out the original electronics. The motors are now running off these two electronised motor controllers. Those are quite powerful and we could run cordless drill motors off those if we wanted to upgrade it later. Those are being controlled by the embed microcontroller that we saw earlier and that's doing all the low level and real time I.O. while the iGap handles the clever stuff. Uh, there's a big battery there and that runs all of the logic circuits inside. The motors are still running off 3D cells as in the original uh, but this battery powers the iGap hub, embed and the motor controllers. The eye gets pretty efficient and I'd expect to get about 8 hours at full CPU load with this battery. Hidden behind all of this is a switch mode power supply that I made myself and that provides a good clean 5 volts to all the logic. And finally there's the USB hub on top. That's all I have right now. There's some more details on my website about the software setup if you're interested.